out of voids where the utmost redundance begins to produce original information, an art of words and quasi-words where the graphic form veils and unveils, seals and unseals, an art of constellated alphabets, of bee-like letters swarming and solitary, an art of lines that sink and stand, fronting by a minimal vertigo of space, a semiotic art of icons, indexes, symbols, which print on the blank of the page their numinous foam. This is the art of Mira Schenler. I first met Amira in 1965. I was, um, at that time I was working as art critic for the London Times. We went to her house in the suburb of Sao Paulo. And we spent the whole day there without eating or drinking anything. We were so absorbed in her work and what she had to say about it. At that time she was making the monotypes. She spoke about the notion of the void, you know, of the empty space. And how, in her work, the lines um, stimulate, I think was the word she used, stimulate that space. I bought a, um, a selection of, of these monotypes of mirrors in the 60s. It seemed to um, convey the idea of growth with the simplest possible lines. Uh, here there's, a, there's the empty void which these plants or energies or whatever they are are going to, to activate. Very rapidly, she would chew something with her fingernail or something like that, a bit, a bit uh, uh, more fatter. And then she would do another one very quickly, having established this kind of um, readiness and mood. And she would go one after another, just making as light an in the gesture as she could. The line always has a slightly fuzzy character, um, which to me, um, sort of donates the presence of energy. It's like some kind of electric element which charges the space around it. There was a growing expansiveness of feeling. Her work went through different phases, and, and uh, these phases are very well shown, I think, in the Tate Modern Exhibition. And now we're getting, building up a more, um, a more accurate idea of the, the, the extent of her work. Waves of probability. It's, it's an, a space filled with very fine hanging threads which diffuse uh, your vision you know, as, you, as you look into it. It's a void which is only very, very delicately interrupted or filled. It's really, again, a space that has been activated. She belonged to that group of people who were in one way or another exiles or refugees, which was an important component in the, in the evolution of contemporary art.